As the aviation world races toward carbon fiber jets, silent engines, and AI-guided cockpits, Russia suddenly drags a forgotten machine from the ruins of the 1990s, the 2214, a relic reborn. But why bring back something the world abandoned? How can an outdated Soviet design suddenly threaten the sleek giants of Boeing and Airbus? Why does this resurrection feel less like nostalgia and more like a warning? And when sanctions strike like a hammer, how does this forgotten giant become Russia's unexpected answer to the future? Let's take a closer look. Faced with the dual pressures of Western sanctions and a rapidly declining ability to maintain and operate foreign aircraft Russia, has made the prudent decision to bring the Tu-214 back into production not out of nostalgia, but out of strategic necessity. The aircraft offers a platform that is already familiar to Russian engineers and crews, meaning it can be modernized and deployed much more quickly than brand new designs like the MC-21 or other cutting-edge projects that still rely on Western components. By restarting Tu-214 production, Russia can reduce its dependence on Boeing and Airbus, ensuring that domestic airlines and government fleets can continue to operate reliably, despite sanctions that restrict spare parts maintenance and technical support. At the same time, the move also preserves important industrial capabilities, particularly at the Kazan Aircraft Plant, protecting the workforce engineering expertise and supply chains that underpin the country's broader aviation industry. It also aligns with Moscow's long-term goal of import substitution, providing a testing ground for integrating domestically produced avionics engines and systems into operational airframes, and thus gradually reducing the risk of foreign attack. Furthermore, the Tu-214 is a practical and immediately deployable solution to meet both civil and government aviation needs, with airlines such as S-7 placing large orders, ensuring the program's economic viability. Essentially, restoring the jet allows Russia to maintain operational sovereignty, protect strategic industrial know-how, and effectively meet domestic transport needs while buying time to continue developing more advanced aircraft that can compete with Western giants. A careful balancing act between short-term survival under geopolitical pressure and long-term industrial resilience. Wait, don't leave yet. Now we will reveal some secret information about this plane. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to continue exploring. The Tupolev Tu-214 is an incredibly durable and practical aircraft specifically built to withstand some of the harshest and most demanding conditions on the planet. Its design philosophy heavily influenced by military-grade durability is cleverly adapted to meet the needs of civil aviation, while still performing well in environments that challenge most Western airliners. The thick aluminum fuselage, reinforced joints, and large rivets give the aircraft a strong, indestructible feel further reinforced by armor-like panels and doors designed to withstand extreme pressures and climates, from the harsh Siberian winters to the icy, wind-blasted Arctic. Unlike conventional Western jets, the plane's landing gear features four wheels on each side, instead of two, allowing it to land safely on rough, unpaved surfaces, like gravel mud and snow-covered runways, the kind of terrain many Boeing or Airbus aircraft would have to land on. This ability has earned the 2214 the reputation of being the SUV of the skies, a symbol of its durability and off-road adaptability. Complementing this resilience, the engines are mounted higher on the wings than on Western competitors, helping to prevent damage from foreign objects, from debris and snow. The Russian anti-icing method combines a centralized heating system in only key locations combined with aerodynamic flows and anti-icing materials, allowing the 2214 to operate reliably at temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. In particular, the aircraft is equipped with two Aviat Vigatel PS90A turbofan engines, each generating more than 16 tons of thrust. It balances raw power and fuel efficiency, consuming about 4,000 liters of fuel per hour, while carrying about 100 tons of weight. 
Its operating range ranges from about 6,500 to 7,200 kilometers, allowing for non-stop flights to far-flung destinations such as Dubai, Hong Kong, or remote Arctic outposts. The aircraft embodies the Russian philosophy of a careful balance between redundancy and pilot authority. The FADIC engine control system allows for a seamless transition to manual thrust control in the event of an emergency, while the cockpit incorporates classic analog gauges and rotary switches alongside a modern digital flight management system. This ensures that even in the event of an electronic failure, the aircraft can still be safely flown manually. Furthermore, the cabin focuses on practical comfort rather than luxury, with a seat pitch of 76 to 80 centimeter 31 to 32 inches, and seats designed for durability and practicality, all set in a surprisingly quiet interior. This practical approach reflects Russia's broader focus on reliability, operational flexibility and efficiency. Unlike Western airliners optimized for smooth tarmac and temperate climates, the 2214 is a rugged aircraft designed to perform well in the harshest environments and to serve dual roles in both civil aviation and government strategic aviation. More than just a passenger aircraft, it epitomizes the spirit of Russian aviation combining rugged durability operational reliability, and innovative practicality to meet the demanding demands of some of the world's most extreme weather and runway conditions maintaining performance and safety where Western aircraft might hesitate. The new Tupolev 214 outperforms Boeing and Airbus in terms of versatility thanks to several unique features designed specifically for Russia's unique aviation environment and diverse mission requirements. Unlike Boeing and Airbus models, which are primarily optimized for commercial passenger service on well-developed airport infrastructure, it is designed as an adaptive platform with robust construction and operational flexibility. It can operate on unpaved icy or other inhospitable runways that Western aircraft typically avoid thanks to reinforced landing gear with four wheels on each side and high-lift engines that reduce the risk of debris. Furthermore, the aircraft can quickly convert between passenger and cargo configurations with a payload of up to 25.2 tons, something that Boeing and Airbus narrow bodies can do, but with less emphasis on rapid conversion in the field. Furthermore, it has both civilian and government missions, including specialized versions for reconnaissance, electronic intelligence, aerial refueling, and command post functions capabilities that are often absent from standard Western fleets without significant upgrades. In terms of avionics resilience, the combination of modern systems with the aircraft's analog backup systems allows for manual control in the event of electronic failures, demonstrating a doctrine that prioritizes pilot control and operational redundancy, a feature that is less emphasized by Western competitors. Its design philosophy is geared toward durability and operational readiness in harsh climates such as Siberia and the Arctic outperforming Boeing and Airbus models that are optimized for more temperate environments. Overall, the 2214's versatility stems from its ability to perform reliably in commercial cargo and military roles while operating from rugged airfields and in inclement weather, offering a uniquely wide operating range that outperforms Boeing and Airbus narrowbody aircraft in these specialized scenarios. The localization and restoration of Tupolev 214 production in Moscow faces many complex risks and challenges. One of the most pressing issues is the acute shortage of engineers and skilled workers at the Kazan aircraft plant, which has led to numerous delays and failure to meet ambitious production targets. For example, Despite the plant's goal of producing several jets per year, it has delivered only one aircraft by 2025, reflecting a serious shortage of both human resources and operational capabilities. This shortage is exacerbated by competing demands from military aircraft programs, which are also using the same limited human resources. Another significant obstacle is the replacement of imported components with domestic ones, a need made urgent by strict Western sanctions. 
Switching to domestic components requires a comprehensive redesign, rigorous testing, and complete recertification, all of which contribute to lengthy production delays. In addition, the aircraft's legacy design, dating back to the late Soviet era, poses technical challenges in modernizing systems and components to meet modern standards and maintain competitiveness with newer Boeing and Airbus aircraft. Furthermore, commercial demand for it is somewhat limited, as many Russian airlines have shown a preference for more modern and technologically advanced aircraft, such as the Superjet 100 or MC-21. This market hesitation significantly reduces the commercial incentive for increasing to 2. 1.4 Production Furthermore, systemic shortcomings rooted in Russia's aerospace industrial infrastructure including poor coordination, outdated facilities, logistical challenges, and quality assurance issues further complicate scaling up production. Factory modernization is far from complete, with key assembly lines and production workshops either incomplete or underfunded limiting the ability to produce multiple aircraft simultaneously. Supply chain fragmentation and logistical difficulties add to the complexity as coordinating timely delivery and integration from multiple domestic suppliers is often problematic. In particular, financial barriers, including high interest rates and economic... Taken together, the problems of a shortage of skilled labor complex, import certification and replacement processes, difficulties in modernizing older designs, weak market demand, inadequate and challenges that the Moscow-led aircraft restoration must overcome. These factors hamper Russia's strategic ambitions to regain self-sufficiency in the Arams. By returning the Tu-221-4 to serial production with modern upgrades, Russia reduces its dependence on Boeing and Airbus and demonstrates that it can maintain its own aviation ecosystem despite sanctions and geopolitical pressure. This independence also opens the door for Russia to re-enter international markets, particularly countries in Asia, the Middle East, Africa, and Latin America that are looking for affordable alternatives to Western jets. With the upgraded aircraft able to perform passenger cargo and government roles, it becomes an attractive multi-mission platform for countries that value durability, cost-effectiveness, and political consistency over Western certification. For Boeing and Airbus, it challenges long-held assumptions about innovation. It demonstrates that an aging airframe, when strategically modernized, can remain highly competitive without the huge costs of designing a new aircraft from scratch. This shift highlights a broader trend modernization, not reinvention, can be a powerful tool for maintaining capacity resilience and market relevance, especially in a world shaped by geopolitical fragmentation and shifting airline alliances. Thank you for joining this journey. Have a good time and see you again.